Hello and welcome to today's Daily Dose of Awesome, your live 15 minutes of inspiration, motivation, and uh, education to get your day started right. Um, if you're joining me live, drop a comment in who you are, where you're coming in from. If you're watching this on the replay, drop me hashtag replay so I can come back in and say hello and interact with you. Um, just wanted to make sure that we are live, but today... We were talking about, are you ready to discover your voice as a network marketer and attract more prospects to your business? If you are ready for that, drop me a number one down below, and I probably should just check I'm live. Uh, just had some technical difficulties this morning. Oh, there's Jennifer. Okay, yes, I'm live. Yay. <laughs> Glad you're here. Awesome. Welcome. All right, so what we're talking about today is... Uh, is how to find your voice in a very noisy, uh, very noisy place, which is social media. We have a lot of distractions going on with our, you know, with everything on social media. And so I wanted to share with you today, have a question for you. Have you ever seen America's Got Talent or um, The Voice or uh, American Idol? I don't even know if they do these shows anymore, honestly, because I don't have TV, but um, if you've seen them, drop me a number one down below. And while you're doing that, I'm going to just say hello to everyone. Hi, Michael. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Cindy. Uh, glad you are all joining me for this live. But yeah, if you've seen one of these shows, drop me a number one down below because what I want to chat about is when these people come onto the show and they start um, singing in front of other people. They use uh, other people's covers, right? So cover songs that they've used. They sing other people's uh, songs, other great, you know, artists like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, um, you know, all kinds of different artists. And what ends up happening is, hi, Samara, how are you? Hi, Kim with a C, how are you? Um, so what happens is they start singing other people's content. And I kind of want to just, I have a question for you. What do you think is the reason they start there? Okay, so what's the reason that they start with other people's songs, other people's covers, other people's, uh, basically other people's content, right? Angeline, not anymore. Yeah, you, you probably don't have a lot of time to watch TV. Um, yeah, so what's the reason that people end up starting there with uh, singing other people's, other people's songs? So just give me a comment, drop it down below. Hi, Cecilia. Nice to have you as well. Angeline, um, all of you. Perfect. Okay. So I'm, I might have a delay and I'm, so I'm just going to give this to you. Okay. So to learn and develop your skills. Okay. Here they come. Easier to use that while they're learning how to write their own. Okay. Perfect. Jennifer, that is awesome. Okay. Anyone else want to take a stab at it? Okay, cool. This is exactly the reason is because they're trying to figure out who they are. They're trying to figure out their, you know, what genre they want to be in. Do they want to be, you know, country? Do they want to be R&B? Do they want to be rock? Do they want to be, and they identify with certain, certain things. And it's easier for them to use while they're learning to write their own content. Okay. Cindy, yes, it's more comfortable, right? They know the song did well. They know they have some, some data that they can go off of, right? They know that the song did well the first time it was saying, or, you know, whoever, uh, it was a hit song, right? So they are using what's already out there that's already working, okay? Now, how does this relate to you as a network marketer or a business owner here inside of Elite Marketing Pro? Well, as we get started, we, it's easier for us to use something that is already working, okay? So just take in, uh, take into account of Elite Marketing Pro's content, right? It's already there for you. It's already converting. Their capture pages convert all of those things, all right? But in the first few weeks of these contests that these new singers go, they are singing a song at least once a day, right? Um, they're singing, let's see, I sound American Idol worthy in the shower. Yes, me too, <laughs> Jennifer, that's awesome. But they are singing, they are dumped into this contest, right? And they are like, it's basically like pounded out every day. They're pounding out another song. They're trying to figure out who they are. They're getting better. They're practicing. They are doing what they need to be doing to move their business forward. And this is not any different than what we are doing as business owners when we bring our business online. Now, you may be new to network marketing. You may have been here a while. Whoops. And um, you may have been here a while with network marketing, but you may be new to bringing it online, right? And so 
you want to be able to use content that is already converting. Now, when you use other people's content, you become the tour guide. And this is what Elite Marketing Pro is all about, is using their content to get people to come to you to attract, to attract people to you. Now, how do you discover your voice as a network marketer, right? You start to, um, you start to, to bring in your own personality, your own way of doing things, your own stories, your own experiences. And you get better and better and better. Now, how many of you right now just drop me a drop me a yes or a no if you're doing Facebook Lives? I just kind of want to see where you are. Hi, Chuck. Nice to have you. Hi, Joy. Hi, Kenneth. Cindy. Hello. Hello. Cool. Got lots of you on here today. Awesome. So many of you are doing Facebook Lives. Okay, so I'm sure that. Um, okay, so Michael, yes. Okay, Jennifer, yes. Um, anyone else want to want to take a stab at if they're doing Facebook lives or not? Now, the point of doing a Facebook live is to bring out your own voice, to give people a piece of you that um, that is part of who you are, right? And it, the fastest way to connect with other people is to use video, all right? Now, if you are ready to discover your voice, I have a challenge for you. And it is going to be doing a video, a live video for the next 30 days. Now, how many of you, when I just said that, um, scared the crap out of you, right? I actually still don't love doing lives, okay? It's not what I love. I have a very hard time with it not being perfect, right? But we want to, and I wrote this down just so that we can, we can cover this. Imperfect action is better than no action. Okay. Now, when you start building your own, your own Facebook lives. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is people are like, they get all anxious, right? They're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. And one of the main problems that we end up having is we don't feel like we are anyone. Who am I to share, you know, any other else, anybody else's comment? Who am I? I'm not a top earner. You know, I just, I'm brand new. I have no idea what I'm doing, you know, to uh, be able to do all of these things online and try to act like a, um, act like uh, I'm somebody I'm not. And so there's an incongruency with your integrity, right? Now here's the deal. This is actually all up here. Nobody said you had to be a top earner. Nobody said you had to be a, you know, a professional uh, marketer online. Nobody ever said that this is how this works, right? This is all up in your brain, right? It's the six inches between your ears. What you become when you come online is you become a tour guide, okay? And you're going to share other people's content. And that's actually where you're going to share content. Now, how many of you have been to um, an event? Um, yeah, Michael, I don't like doing them, because, but I do them because you told me to. Awesome. I love it. How many of you have been to like a network marketing event or a self-development uh, event or uh, learn something online from someone else? Maybe, you know, if we want to drop some names like Eric Worre, Ray Higdon, Kate McShay, um, any of the Daily Dose of Awesome, right? JT DeBolt. How many of you have seen those things, right? And you usually take notes. Now, those notes are actually uncashed checks. And I learned that from Ray Higdon. Now, if you take that content and you're going to go categorize it, um, you know, maybe it might be about network marketing. It might be about uh, marketing itself. It might be, you know, different, different things that you can categorize it, it out. But this is where you're going to find your content. Now, you don't have to pretend to be anybody that you're not, right? You're, gonna, you're just going to be you. In fact, when I first got started, I told people that um, I, you know, I was brand new. I had no idea how to do any of this, and I was going to figure it out and show them how to do this, right? And so this is where your integrity, so you can become congruent with who you are. You don't have to pretend to be anybody you're not. Just be who you are. Be upfront and honest and authentic with people and move forward in your business. Now, that's where you find content is out of those uh, becoming using other people's content. You can read a blog post on Elite Marketing Pro, you know, you know, and give your top tips on that. And then you start to become the authority because you're the one delivering the content. Can you guys see how this works? Hi, Don. Nice to have you. All right. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Okay. Plus, I am an event sales exec executive for a corporation. Awesome, Angelina. So, you have a lot of network marketing uh, or a lot of content that you can share with other people. See? So, you all have content. Now, one other thing that you can use for content is stories that happen, right? While you're building your business, um, your failures, your successes, uh, your struggles, right? It's a huge one that you can share. And when you do this, it instantly connects you with other person. Now, you don't always want to just be the person that's sharing A, B, and C, right? When you talk about your struggles and how you sucked and, you know, all of these things, right? 
it's going to bring authenticity into your 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 voice into your message to other people all right so this is how this is going to work when the american idol people or the voice or whatever right they go through this process and they are hammering out they are hammering out a song every day day in and day out right they are they're learning they're growing they're finding who they are this is what i want you to do okay i want you to to put challenge down below if you accept to do 30 videos in a row okay in 30 days now what this does is it's going to get you're going to feel anxious okay you're going to feel like you don't know anything you're going to look at yourself the plant that's in front of you is going to hang over the camera it's going to be embarrassing you're going to sweat buckets right you're going to be all stressed out about what you're going to say and the more that you go through this you just jump in and do it i want you to keep these videos three minutes or less, okay? And I'm gonna tell you the reason. Now, when we are doing a video for our tribe, now right now I'm doing a video for our tribe. This is the Elite Marketing Pro Community Tribe. And I know you guys share this out, but we speak to the community, right? So we're sharing it with our tribe. Those videos can be longer. Now you think about that as people that already know you, like you, and trust you are going to listen to you longer than people you're just trying to attract. Example, when you're scrolling through your phone, right? and you find a video, um, do you usually watch the whole thing, right? Unless it is actually like really something that you're looking for, do you ever really watch the same, you know, watch the whole thing? Drop me a number two. If lives, Mark, lives. So Mark, yes, to answer your question, it would be lives, 30 lives in a row. So, so starting today, 30 lives in a row. But do you ever watch an entire video if you don't know like and trust that person, okay? And the answer most of the time, 80% of the time is going to be no, right? We're distracted. We've got shiny object syndrome going on, all of that stuff. And so when you're talking to your tribe, you can make the videos longer. But when you're talking to someone that you haven't met yet or doesn't know, like, and trust you, keep the message really short, to the point, and very, very, you know, just in it, right? So I'm going to give you a layout so that you can do this right. Because the point of this is to attract new people to you. Now, yes, you want to do lives that are talking to your tribe, okay? So I'm, I'm not saying do one or the other, but if you want to start attracting new people to you, use what works, which is shorter videos, okay? So three minutes. Now, this is what you're going to do. You are going to introduce the topic with a question, okay? Now, I did that to begin with. Are you ready to discover your voice as a network marketer and attract more of the right prospects to your business, okay? Then you could do a, you know, a quick introduction. My name is Brandy Shaver, for those of you that don't know me. And I live in Utah. I'm actually somebody that teaches you how to build your business online using strategies, you know, whatever, right? People don't care if you're a top earner. They don't care how much money you've made. They don't care, right? Just be who you are. Introduce yourself. Really simple and maybe a simple tagline to go with that if you want to get fancy, right? Use the, do the content with engagement. Now, you only want to use two or three points in your content, okay? You don't want to, like, teach a whole you know, six hour lesson on one live, right? Again, these are gonna be short, so you wanna keep three points. Just like I did a live yesterday, the three top things that you can do to attract people to you using your social media profile, okay? So simple, right? The three points, and it was use your own picture, uh, not your dog, not your kid, that kind of stuff, okay? And I just went into the points, really simple and quick to the point. And then a call to action, all right? Now your call to action is to comment down below, challenge, okay? You're in kind of thing. And that's the call to action. Now, your call to action may be grab the link below in the comments to figure out how you can build your business online, attracting people to you, okay? So this is going to, what's this going to do for you? Now, think about this for a second. What's this going to do for you? All right, so we're getting some twos. Uh, Michael, I always watch them all the way through, even when they are terrible, because I'm, well, that's something, right? Um, so when we are doing video after video after video if we took one year and we did 30 videos we spread it out over 30 years are we going to get the same effect than if we just take the 30 days and get it over with answer down below what you think the answer to that is because you have to suck before you're good okay and then you got to be good before you're great and then you're going to be amazing okay now if you want to go back and watch some of my videos from when i first started you can go to my page and check those out and you can laugh all day long right i was terrified so just getting it over with obviously is the smarter way to do this right yes michael three what three minute videos for 30 days in a row 
introduce topic with a question, three points, and get engagement. Yes, so you're going to want to do some tie downs. And if you don't know what tie downs are, is this making sense? Drop me a number two down below. Drop me a your favorite emoji. Comment in if you know the answer. Those are called tie downs, okay? Those are getting people to engage. Um, also, you want to um, cater to your replayers because most of the people that watch your videos are going to be replayers. So drop a hashtag replay down below if you're watching this on the replay and I'll come back in and, and comment with, or with you in a bit later. All right. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you have a fabulous day and uh, appreciate you all being here. Uh, let me know how it's going on your challenges. Message me, um, you know, tag me in the community, uh, tag me in your videos. I want to see what you're doing. I want to see you moving through this. And if you get those 30 videos out of the way, you are going to be amazing so much faster than spreading it out over a long period of time. So I hope you have a fabulous rest of your uh, Thursday. I think it's Thursday today. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.